when you first start up Photosizer, you're going to have this window pop open. It has a product key box here. That's just if you want to purchase the professional version. So just go ahead and click continue, which opens up this window here. As you can see, I have another window already opened up that has my pictures. These are high resolution pictures that I'm going to down convert to a lower, lower resolution that's more ideal for your website. Now these right here are drop down boxes. If you go into the first one, by the way, options, make sure that everything is checked, which it should already be. Click on your resize and probably this will be already checked. What you want to do is go to preset and change it to 640 by 480. You'll have all these, these options here, but 640 by 480 is what you want. Also make sure you check do not enlarge if smaller and maintain aspect ratio. Uh, you never want to you never want to increase the size of a picture, but uh, it's okay to bring it down. So check that. Your effects, make sure that nothing is checked there. Rotation, make sure nothing is checked there. Miscellaneous settings, we want to click on this and make sure that this says 96. You may have to change that, but we're going to change the resolution of our pictures to 96 dpi. Again, that's ideal for the internet. On this one, save to folder, which is your only option. Save as original. Um, also, well, you actually have other options, but that's what we're going to do is save as original. Output format, you have several choices here, but for now, we're just going to choose the JPEG. It's a little bit easier to work with, and again, um, is more ideal for your website. File name, and right now it says save as original. We're going to put custom and then come down here and drop this box down. Open this up to percentage %f percentage %w times percentage <coughs> percentage height. What that's going to do is that's going to keep your original picture so that you can use them in the future, but it's going to create a duplicate picture uh, with uh, with an extra bit of uh, name added that'll tell what the height and the the width is. At this point what we are going to do is we're going to come over here to our window where our pictures are and many of our clients don't realize this but if you wanted to say select all of the pictures uh, or or all of anything any, a group of files or folders something like that if you just click on the first one hold your shift button down and then click on the last then everything in between those including the first one and the last one will be highlighted then you can then drag and drop or if you want to just select certain individual pictures, again, or folders or files, if you click on one and hold your control key down, that's the one with the CTRL on it, and then hold that down and click on the next picture and keep holding it down and click on the next picture, then you can choose pictures individually. And again, you can take and drag and drop those. So just for the sake of explanation, what we're gonna do is just select these three and I'll click on the first one. I will hold my shift key down and click on the last one, which will highlight all those in between. And then we take and drag it over here into this window. And as you can see, they pop up here. Then at this point, we just click the start button. And as you can see, it happens that fast. Close that. And over here in this folder, what we've done is we've created duplicates of the ones that we dragged in there. Only now they have this extra 640 by 400. These are the ones that you're going to use in your website. These are the lower resolution pictures. Then we can come back over here. We can just remove all. And at this point, we can exit our program.